father would love her mother. Yeah, no? Come on, you move back. Move back. Move back. Move back. Stand over there. She says she always loved her mother. But we are trying to get you to come out of the nonsense of how this love, world has a set up. <laughs> you know, give me a, a St. John 14, 15. I already told you what I feel. St. John 14, 15. St. John chapter 14, verse 15. This is what you're supposed to love, Reed. If you love me, you love Christ, you love Mashiach Yahushua, Reed. Keep my commandments. Said, keep his commandments. That's one of the laws of the Most High. Love thy father and thy mother. You, everybody's supposed to love their father and mother. I already told you, no. Go ahead. Give me our first job. Five and three. I, I already told you, no. What part that you don't understand? No, I already told you, no. Read, because I'm here dealing with something. I'm not dealing with what your personal thing. You over there drinking. Go back over there and drink. It got something to do with what you, you up here disturbing the word of the most high. Read. First John. First John chapter 5 verse 3. For this is the love of the most high. This is the love of the most high. Read. That we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. That's what the love is supposed to be about. And his commandment says, honor thy father and thy mother. That's the first law of promise. Read. And his commandments are not grievous. His commandments are not grievous. You're not supposed to feel bad about Keeping the commandments of the Most High. Go to Exodus 20th chapter. Let's read them. The commandments are not grievous. This is a, these are the Ten Commandments that everybody should know off the top of their head. Read. Exodus chapter 20 verse 1. And the Most High spake all these words, saying, I am Yahweh thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. We all came out of the land of Egypt in captivity, slavery and bondage under the Africans, the Egyptians. We as the Israelites, read. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage, read. Thou shalt have no other idols before me. He said, you're not supposed to have any gods before him. And he already said he's the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, read. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Make no graven images. Read. Or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above. No likeness of anything that's in the heaven above. Read. Or that is in the earth beneath. Or that is in the earth beneath. Read. Or that is in the water under the earth. Or the waters under the earth. Read. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. That's the main thing. You're not supposed to make something and look at something in the earth and bow down to it. That's what a lot of brothers missing out on. Because I don't see nobody making anything that's put, putting it on the earth and then bow down to it and not honoring the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Me? No serve them. No serve them. Like they made that calf. When Moses went up to the mountains for 40 days and made a big calf. And they worshiped that. They said, this is who brought us out of the land of, of uh, Egypt. You know, and Jeroboam. He made two calves. He said, this is who brought you out of the land of Egypt. And they worshiped that. Read. Really? For I, Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Right. Visiting the iniquity, the wickedness of the children of them that hate them to the third and fourth generation. Me? And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me. And showing mercy to thousands of them that love him. Me? And keep my commandments. And do what? Keep my commandments. So he's not going to show you mercy that you say you under if you don't do what? Keep my commandments. Keep his commandments. How you going to think that the Most High not going to give you something that you do deserve and you don't do what? Keep my commandments. Keep his commandments. Read. Thou shalt not take the name of Yahweh thy power in vain. Read. supposed to take the Most High's name in vain. Read. For Yahweh will not hold the guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So now, when is the Sabbath day? On Sunday? I don't think so. You even have these pro chop eating preachers, these Edomite preachers coming out and saying that Sunday is pagan. 
to go to church on Sunday is a pagan originality of the pagans. Right. Pagan worship. He said the Sabbath day is the seventh day of the week, which is Saturday, excuse me, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. When the sun goes down on Saturday, it's the end of the Sabbath. Look at your calendars, people. The first day of the week on a calendar, all calendars, is Sunday. Not the seventh day. They put it in your face. That's why y'all talk about New Year's Eve. The first day of January when everything's dead, even out here in California, everywhere. Because it's seasonal. You find trees, look at them trees down there. No leaves on them. The leaves are all dead. But when the spring comes, right. that's when they start to bloom again. The birds come back from the south to the north. The uh, bears come out of hibern hibernation. Right. Everything's set up around the cycle of the most high. That's why they got April Fool's Day. Because you destroy it for a lack of knowledge again. Put it right in your face. Laughing at you all the way to the bank. It's just about making money. We spend a trillion dollars a year as the Israelites. Don't have nothing to show for it. Nothing. We should have our own money. Right, right. <laughs> trillion dollars a year? We should have our own money. That's all we do is spend money. Okay, all right. Go ahead. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of Yahweh thy power. So the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Most High. That's from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. They might have named the days and the months and so forth, but the, the Friday sundown to Saturday sundown never changed. It never changed. Really? But the seventh day is the Sabbath of Yahweh thy power. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou know thy son, know thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Hallelujah must go outside, made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Right, he rested the seventh day. Come on. Wherefore, Yahweh blessed the Sabbath day. He blessed the Sabbath day. Read. And hallowed it. He hallowed it. He made it holy. Read. Honor thy father and thy mother. There you go, sis. You hear what it say? Honor thy father and thy mother. Read. That thy days may be long over the land, which thou with thy power giveth thee. Yeah, so the, so the most I could bless you. Read. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill, which means murder. Read. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Not commit adultery. Men are not supposed to be going with another man's woman. And women that belong to another man should be going out there with another man. Straight up. But that, this world teaches it's okay. Right. I don't like you no more. I'm going to go to another man. All right. you do is commit adultery. Right. If you were a woman that's with a man, show me where a woman divorced her husband in the Bible. Where is that at? <laughs> I'll divorce you. I'm out. I don't like you. Now I'm going to go lay with some other man. Then you're going to bring for a bastard slip, as the Bible says. Mm. You know? You're supposed to have disagreements and stay together. We go apart. As most I say, didn't come back together. But no, once I said, I should not commit adultery. You're supposed to be going with another man's woman. And a woman that's with a man, that's supposed to be going out there getting another man with another man. Me? Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not steal. Me? Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. You're supposed to be lying on your people. Me? Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. That's the Zion that's so, something that somebody else has. Oh, man, you see what they got? Plan the Joneses. I gotta get that too. I'm gonna get get that and get some. Read. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Covet that neighbor's wife. Look at oh man, he got a bad lady. He must be looking at that woman. Somebody else's woman. You commit adultery when you're looking at her, desiring her. Read. Nor his manservant. Nor his manservant. Read. Nor his maidservant. Nor his maidservant. Come on. Nor his ox. Nor his ox. Nor his ass. Nor his ass. Nor anything that is thy neighbor. Nor anything that is thy neighbor's. That's the Ten Commandments. That love y'all. Hell yeah. You know I mean, yeah. It's, it's, we got to bring it forth because a lot of you, you hear me say the laws all the time, but all 613 laws is built upon those Ten Commandments there. How we serve the Most High, power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and how we love thy neighbor as thyself. 
Do you always see that? But get on Leviticus, the 19th chapter, the first verse, first and second verse. The scripture says we got to love our neighbors ourselves. Who's it talking to? Read this. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 1. Right. And Yahweh spake unto, yeah, and the Most High one must go aside, spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. Congregation of who? Israel. Of Israel, talking to us. We the Israelites. Read. And say unto them, Ye shall be holy. For I the Most High, while I must go aside, your power am holy. Come on. Ye shall fear every man his mother and his father. Right. That's the first commandment of promise. Jump to verse 17 and 18. So it's talking to the children of Israel. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So he said, you're not supposed to hate your brother in your mind, man. You're not supposed to be hating on your brother. Read. Thou shalt in no wise rebuke thy neighbor. He said, in no wise rebuke your neighbor. You know, for what? You gotta have a just reason to rebuke your neighbor, man, of Israel, the people of Israel. Read. And not suffer sin upon him. And not suffer sin upon him. Read. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Yeah, the children of us. We the children of Israel. This is what we're supposed to be doing with each other. It starts with us. But what we do, first thing we think about is some other nation. Right. Outside from us. We got 27 names now. 27 different names. So who we are as a people. Ain't nobody said real. <laughs> but it is what it is. 27 different names, you know. But we as we are the children of Israel. We represent the 12 tribes of Israel. That's who you are. You're an Israelite. And can't nobody prove different unless you're some other nation. <laughs> mm, right. And we scattered among our nations. We don't. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So it says, you're supposed to love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 5, 43. You got to love your neighbor as yourself. It's very important that we love each other. Because if we don't love each other, who's going to love us? Who care about us? Who making sure, you know, right here in California, sister, you got from kindergarten all the way to the eighth grade, if, you're, if a boy feel like he's a girl, he can go into the boys, into the girls' bathroom, the girls' shower, the girls' locker room, a girl feel like she's a boy, she can go into the boys' locker room, the boys' bathroom, the boys' shower, that's wickedness. That's gonna cause confusion. And when your children come home, what you gotta do, you gotta reprogram them. All the time, every day. Cause you, gotta, you can't let it stay off your mind because you know this is what they're learning in school. That it's okay. Because they'll be just like people that we talk to of the world that say, are oh, you off? Mm -hmm. Right. You right. off, mama and daddy. Because they say at the school that it's okay. Same fight that we have. That's ignorant. That's wrong. That's an abomination in the eyes of the Most High. Me? Matthew chapter 5, verse 43. Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. That's right. Of Israel, we are we as a people. Cause when I mean, look at all the, the killings that we have in our neighborhoods, like nowhere else, man. They want us to kill each other. But he said, "What? Read it again." Ye have heard that it had been said, "Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy." Yeah, you have heard it have been said that we should love our neighbor and hate our enemies of Israel. Our, we the people of uh, we as a people. Read. But I say unto you. Love your enemies. They love your enemies, Ray, of our people, of the children of Israel, Ray. Bless them that curse you. Bless them that curse you, Ray. Do good to them that hate you. Do good. Now, I ain't talking about no other nation. We talking about Israelites. Because I saw that's the only one he was among and in the midst of us. A brother that was in the ghetto among us. Not everybody, Ray. And pray for them which despitefully use you. Pray for them which despitefully use us. Me? And persecute you. And persecute us. Me? That ye may be the children of your father. And we may be the children of our father. Power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Come on. Which is in heaven. Which is in heaven. Me? For he make 
his son to rise on the evil. So he make his son, his blessings, to rise on the evil, weak, and on the good. And on the good. Because you don't know when the most I going to call somebody that's in wickedness back. We all come from the same place, man. We ain't no better than nobody. Mm -hmm. We just got the light first, shining bright first, and trying to get you out of the darkness that you in, to come unto the light too, and shine bright. Really? And send rain on the just and on the unjust. They send blessings on the just and the unjust. That it? Um, give me uh, uh, Revelation 18 and 4. That's why it's important, man, to come out of this darkness. It's getting dark now. <laughs> I mean, you can't see. Without the lights, man, it'll be really dark out here. Right? That means you, you, you cannot see. That's why we're bringing this light, man. Read. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my